Today I'm gonna show you how to make chicken salad. This recipe is very, very easy, very simple, and very delicious. I'm starting out here with uh, some grapes. You wanna use red seedless grapes. Make sure that you rinse them. Then you're gonna slice them in half. If you'd like to use more grapes, feel free to do so. I will leave the ingredient measurements for this recipe in my description box down below. So make sure you stop by there and check it out. So now let's work on the green onions. You wanna chop these down very, very fine, just like this here. I didn't have a lot of green onions on hand for this recipe, and I actually forgot to add it to my grocery list. So I'm using a very small amount here, but I do recommend that you add in way more green onions than what I did, okay? So now I'm gonna chop down the celery. You wanna chop this down very, very fine as well. I'm using a gala apple and I'm going to core out the center. You wanna peel the apple and then you're gonna chop this down into small chunks. If you'd like to add an additional apple, you can do so. I only use one for this recipe, but I kind of felt like I should have used two, but you know, I just went, went ahead and just used one apple, but you can use two. As you can see, I'm starting out with a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken this is a garlic flavored two and a half pound bird okay so i got this from the deli section at my local grocery store walmart that is so you can find a rotisserie at any grocery store so now once you start on your chicken you want to remove all of the skin just like this you want to snatch all of that meat off of the chicken look you are going to totally massacre this rotisserie just rip all of that meat off and try not to add any fat to your bowl so if you see any fat you want to you know sit that aside so you just want to stick with just strictly meat you can even pull meat from the back side of the chicken okay so now you can use two forks and you can shred the chicken just like this here also if you have um an electric hand mixer if you have a stand mixer you can use either one as well and this is a great great alternative to using a fork to shred your chicken this just got the job done so much quicker and yeah this is a very good quick tip you want to shred that chicken put it in your stand mixer so now we're gonna add all of this to a bowl and to this you're gonna add the mayonnaise. I'm adding this in quarter cup increments so that I could get a recipe for you guys, but you can really eyeball this because you might like more um, mayo, you might like your chicken salad more on the dry side. So you will really make this according to your preference at this point here. So now you're gonna add the vegetables and you're gonna add the apples as well. You wanna fold this in together just like this. Next, add some walnuts or you can add some pecans if you like. Now you can season this to taste, but I do recommend that you taste your chicken salad before you add any salt okay because you might not need it depending on how well your chicken was seasoned okay so now you can add in those grapes and you want to fold those in just like this So now from here, we're gonna add this to a nice serving bowl for presentation. You can also garnish with some parsley. And this pairs very well with a Caesar salad and maybe some crackers on the side. So I hope that you guys will try this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. This chicken salad was so, so good. Oh my gosh, if you've never had like apples and grapes in your chicken salad, you have got to try it you will really really love it i promise you you will love this recipe okay thank you so much for watching i hope that you will try this recipe let me know what you think and i will catch you in my next one